truth doesn't have to be your truth. That is for sure. We are all living an individual experience and we have collectively made the agreement that we would come into this experience and we would all have the same one, but it's still selective and, and we are still, each one of us is having our own individual experience, our own perception. It is yours to do with as you please. And the stronger our minds become, the stronger we will be able to um, create what we want. Okay? So, this is what I came to realization. First, first, first realization, okay? I knew good and bad, all things, all things are the So, creator. if we're all God, then everything that's happening is God. And something that I, I realized is that for souls to develop, for a soul to be born, for a soul to be born, for a soul to uh, come into this place, okay, for us to be created, the, the infinite being that we are, we must, at least from what I've gathered, we come from a planet, okay? So if, if we initiate in within a planet, Okay, and we start out as minerals or some kind of a, of a um, wind or, or water or, uh, you know, some, some element, okay? And then throughout time, uh, we become more and, 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 and more evolved and we move up the chain from bugs to, you know, from plants to bugs to animals to whatever, you know, humans, however that works out. It's it's something like that. Some some kind of, as a human being, I want to put it in linear terms. Um, I, I can't completely explain that. But what I can explain is that this is absolutely necessary to have physicality. We must be physical. There has to be a, a solidness to us in order to have that birth of the soul. So, and, and in order to have physical, physicality for us to be created, you need that push and pull. You need that good and bad. You need that light and dark. And that's how physical, that is in how order to have physical things self to, to be created, to, to, to have the infinite beings that we are. Now, as we continue to eliminate darkness, as we continue to, to weed out that darkness and everyone's coming into the light and, and we're all waking up and, and, and we're all becoming these, these, these ascended beings, well, what happens with ascended beings? We become less physical. So as we continue to release the negative, we become less physical. Things become more malleable. It's, it becomes much easier to create change. So it's all part of the, of the steps here. So everything, everything has a reason. Every, absolutely everything has a reason. And I have faith. I have faith in my creator. I have faith in the creator of this reality that they are magnificent beings we are magnificent beings and we have created this experience to evolve and grow and and learn and um so the whole point to this is is that relax know that everything that you see on a daily basis is there for a reason and feel your purpose go with your excitement what what's going to excite you the most Go with that. Go with that. And as soon as you're not excited about it, as soon as something else, as soon as that is like, oh, wow, that's way more sparkly than this. Go with that. And I promise you, I promise you, if you do that, you will live in a life in a, of abundance. That, that, that's how this new place works. And, and that's what your job is as a holder of light. And if you're attracted to this information, there's a good, good, good chance that you're a holder of light. And if you're a holder of light, your job is to show the rest of the human beings on this planet how to live here on this new planet, how to be part of this new earth. Because 
those who choose not to, those who stay in the negative, there will come a time in the future where these, that, that there, there will be a disconnect and we'll no longer be able to see those people anymore. So find your truth, live your excitement, love yourself.